All right, so we started this whole thing off. I think that was good. Uh, a good a good point to to bring up. So we have Michael Thomas at five. We basically were kind of putting Devontae Adams and Michael Thomas above. Julio, are they above Julio and AJ Green? And we're we're starting right at five, and already Michael Thomas is boom right there. Boom. And uh, you know, as far as me watching the film and all that stuff, like I, I what I saw from Devontae Adams, I liked more from a film perspective, route running kind of perspective. But I liked the schematics and what was going on with Michael Thomas a whole lot better. And it just seems like pretty safe at least for a year maybe two yep so mm. you know that's kind of what that's kind of what swayed Ride my decision it. i might like Devonte adams uh, abilities a little more but i like michael thomas's situation and you like i like his, i like his abilities enough to you know throw him right there and, and again Devonte's four years in the league michael thomas is two years in the league mm -hmm. and so true, true all right so let's 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 keep it moving so we brought julio into the end of this thing we got Devontae still on the hook. Looming. And AJ Green. AJ Green. Amari and Cooper. So didn't now we've bumped Amari somewhere. out of the five. Yep. Right. Where, Back what up. do we got at six here? Let me get Amari Cooper. He's Should taking go? Amari. He's taking Amari in the true dynasty building aspect, the definition of the word. He's taking the 23 year old A, A plus prospect with, that now has some, uh, some, some, some I don't numbers. like that his quarterback wears eyeliner, but whatever. Sure, <laughs> can't like that. Uh, that's a tough one to like. That's a tough like. And he won't even own it. <laughs> Just own it. There's definitely eyeliner on those <laughs> eyes. You got the good stuff. It doesn't run. It doesn't You're out run. there crying mascara. These colors running, don't but. run, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who, who you got to find? Wayne wants six to go there. six for Amari Cooper. Um, you want to go Julio, don't you? I sure do. I sure do want to go Julio. How did you know? I don't know. You own him well, like well, all the basically, well, basically, leagues that you have him in. Basically on the same – I can pretty much sum it up for you. Basically on the same reason why we just took Michael Thomas at five is why Big Co wants to take Julio True. Jones at six because you've seen him put up 40s and 50s and you've seen him be so good for so long. And if Matt you Ryan's wanted to not just, going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. If you wanted to just put pure athleticism on, on a receiver with size and, all, and measure all those immeasurable or measurable fucking freaking – Effing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's up at the top. You right. might maybe number one on this list. Absolutely. I mean, the dude's a, a, an absolute horse. Like, yeah, you know, he just just needs he's a physical freak. His quarterback and and just needs to be schemed I, I better. And then the touchdowns, the touch like it's ridiculous the yeah, amount the of the red zone, zone targets. targets are absolutely out of control with in a bad way with Julio Jones. And this is true. you mentioned about Sark here. Well, they got the first time offensive coordinator ever in the NFL with Sarkeesian. He comes in. He's obviously had some uh, trials and tribulations in the last couple of years. Personally, I didn't like it to begin with. He wouldn't make it on this show. Too much drinking. No way. Out of here. The, yeah. All the, right back on the wagon or off the wagon, whichever it is. <laughs> whichever one's bad. The bad direction of that on and off the wagon. <laughs> he's not going to be in the good spot in that wagon if he's hanging out in this uh, in this control room. Dojo. Dojo. Well done. <laughs> We need a we so, need a Stone Cold Steve Austin like. Bad up, bad up, bad up. Oh my God, can I get the rattlesnake? It's three sixteen. <laughs> Yo, I just looked it up. Julio Jones has four red zone receptions. Receptions. Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen targets. So not good. I I the thing is like Julio's not going anywhere. Obviously his his injuries. He's always limping around on the in, in the game. It drives me nuts. But he's he's an absolute monster. Screw flip. This quarterback situation is as solid as almost anybody's, but not the two court, two wide receivers we were talking about earlier. Solid, not great. But solid, very solid, not great, great. But the the offense just went through a huge transition from from last year to this year. The down from like, boy genius to fr from boy genius to alcoholic <laughs> man is trying to get his life together. <laughs> Which is really what happened. It's a very accurate statement on my part. But what really happened was they got shamed in the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Like, how many times you see a Super Bowl winner, loser, not even make the playoffs next year? Because losing hey, they're to right the in the hunt. Losing, right there. That know, NFC know, South me. is but losing. Guys, in, guys, losing, guys, guys. Way too much co centric analysis here. Losing in the Super Bowl is not cool. Exactly. This it, narrative street, you want to call it what you want. There's not a whole lot of. Uh, metrics behind that other than 28 to 3 right you know they had them and then they didn't have them we let them off the hook they let them off the hook and now the falcons have to go through the worst off season in memory and bounce back better than most teams do and, exactly. and had a really solid stretch there 
I don't think they're going to really make any noise. I don't think it would surprise anybody if Julio Jones came out next year and was absolutely averaging 28 points a game. It's not going to surprise you when he tears it up again. He he went for a 50 burger this year again. He you know he's got the most 250 yard receiving games in the history of the league. When when he goes off, he goes off. Yeah. And so I'm sticking with Julio Jones near the top here, just because it's very safe pick minus a screw foot. If I'm on the clock, I'm going Amari Julio. That's, okay, I think that's where I'm at. So I'd go Amari six, Julio seven. Uh, who who do you guys have at seven then? I'll take Julio there at seven. Okay, so we're we're pretty much on the same page, Big Co. Um, you gonna go Amari or you gonna go AJ? This is where I, I'm sliding in Devonte Adams right here at seven. Ooh, you slipping him in? I'm just I had to slide him in. He's done a lot for me this year. So sell Devonte over Julio for me real quick. Give me that because I could I could well, be de- no, Devonte over Amari. Devon- Oh, Amari, right, right, Devontae right. over Amari, and okay. at this point, Devontae uh, and A.J. Green, because I just put Devontae Adams in. Right, right. In. Sorry, Devontae over Amari. Sell, sell that to me there. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess it's not that hard. Well, his, 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 it's not that hard. His, his contract is better. up. Is it, we, we're completely in the dark about whether or not he's going to be playing with Aaron Rodgers. But we do know he can play without him. But we know he can play without him, and he's just been on fire. Whether it's Aaron Rodgers throwing in the ball or not, and the the stink that is in Oakland Raider territory right now. That boy's about to move yeah. to Las Vegas. They don't know what's going on. They're, the quarterback wears eyeliner. I mean, I <laughs> well, just... and, and then you got the green, <laughs> you got the Green Bay side of things where Devontae steady you know, ship. You got it's a pretty steady ship. You got Jordy who either could be cut or restructured, and, and he's out. at he's at the end of his career. Right, Randall Cobb probably is gonna be the one that gets the axe here if anybody's getting the axe and right he, they probably should bring Devonte Adams should. back with the development and, and yeah. Aaron Rodgers and all that blah 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 and then so they you would, get Ty Montgomery who fills in in Randall Cobb's position without uh-uh. any problem and maybe mm-hmm. Randall Cobb stays because <laughs> with Randall Cobb there Devontae's still been a beast his, his well, he's been problem, a wide receiver one with is, Randall the Cobb the problem is with that is then they're paying so much money to three wide receivers yeah well so they can they can sit they'll they'll eat 2.3 million in Dead cat money if they cut Jordy, and they'll eat three point something million if they cut Randall. I don't think Aaron Rodgers will let them cut Jordy. I don't I either. Think, I think there's a restructure there. happening in that point, but I, right now, right. And I, I, but I could easily see Randall Cobb getting the his, axe in this his situation. Deal's not that big. No, it's three it's, million dollars. Right, but it's I mean, that, no, no, that, that, they have to pay him ten if they want to keep him. Okay, but they'll yeah, eat yeah, three they'll plus eight. if they cut him. Yeah, ten yeah. million. That's a, that's what Allen. They'd have to restructure. Got, There's no way like Randall Cobb. You got Allison for ten million dollars next year. You got Geronimo Allison for real cheap. You got Tom Montgomery for real cheap for a little while. So you could pay Devonte and then you know eat a little bit on the front end and you know be able to pay Devonte and then figure it out from there. Which you know who who knows what they'll really do. But I just wanted to bring light to that situation. I don't think we talked about that yeah. when we were talking about Devonte Adams. You know what? Maybe I could put Devonte up there over Amari because I, I my gut feeling here after this discussion, I and all this we've been trying to figure this out all night. He's got to be back in Green Bay, right? He's got to be. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm I'm fifty fifty on this thing. Is man. that why you would? Is that why you're gonna go Amari over Devonte? I think I, I just I can't get over the like again. Like, yeah, I'm I'm just stuck the on the price fact of, of Devonte Adams at this point. No, just the prospect of Amari Cooper, man. Yeah. Like I just <laughs> it's not over. It's I, not right. It's not, and yeah. I, I I cannot stand when people just bury him. bury guys for like it's just it hasn't all been Amari's fault here's so there's Matthew been some, there's been drops and there's here's, been all sorts of things this, in that just, in that equation it just happened just like this two years ago DeAndre Hopkins was the third or fourth wide receiver in dynasty and you couldn't argue with it any deep you couldn't get you couldn't back him up past four because I remember he was the fourth fit and it was Allen Robinson at five. That was two years ago. And that was how it was the top five in every dynasty league draft started one, two, three, four, five. And it was deep new Hopkins and, and, and Allen Robinson in that fourth and fifth spot. And last year happened and, and Hopkins just couldn't get a quarterback to throw him the ball. And next thing you know, Hopkins is at the end of the first round, top of the second round. And now the Texans have him going, the, the ball's going to him again. And then we obviously got the, uh, the awesome quarterbacks, you know, just a couple of weeks there, just blowing people out of the water. Um, I, and then Hopkins is back here again. That's what I was saying about if Amari comes out with a couple of weeks. We've seen we've seen a couple the of weeks out of Amari. Early he's Super right Bowl back prediction in. prediction kind of people, and yep. the, the Raiders bounce back next year, and all of a sudden are are all is you know, good again. Re- yep. Really, really just strong, like and you know Crabtree is. At the at least on the opposite end of the spectrum of of career wise anyway, and you know I feel like that holds back Amari a little bit. 
Yeah, well, Crabtree's thirty years old, like you said. He's he had his own problems to deal with at the beginning of this beginning of his career. And but we, you know, you and I argued all preseason. We had a bet about whether Michael Crabtree or Amari Cooper would have the most who would have the most fantasy points this year. Obviously, Crabtree won that this year, but next year it could be the flip right. the script. It could be the exact Amari could crush next year, and and, and Crabtree could be a WR two. I really want to because of last year and this year, and and I like to see the consistency and all that stuff. I really want to put Devontae Adams right under Michael Thomas in this discussion here, but I'm I'm having a hard time of of, of getting off Amari of Cooper. Maybe that's just me being stubborn, and maybe is this thing you know goes goes down the line here maybe i'll i'll get over it a little bit but for for right now like I, i'm just i'm 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 sticking to my guns here and and hanging out with amari cooper 